right, Urban Adventures. We are here at the gun range. And we are all the way up to the range. Normally there's a gate over here that uh, that's usually closed, but uh, it's been my first time here since probably about two years and uh, I was very surprised that the gates were open. So yeah, so we actually drove all the way up here. So we're right here, right by the range. And this is a public range at a state park. And we're just gonna shoot down range, uh, get my squirrel gun all sighted in and make sure it's still accurate and everything and go from there. So hopefully we have a lot of fun today. I brought my AR, I brought my handguns, and then also brought my 17 HMR Savage for squirrel and uh, let's go have some fun. So. All right, so guys, this is my rifle. This is for, this is what I use for small game. I got a Weaver, three to nine by, I think it's by 40 or something like that for scope. I don't remember, doesn't say it on here. But this is the Savage model, 93R17. It is a 17 HMR, which can be overkill, which can be overkill for small games, squirrels. This would be a perfect gun for like gophers and uh, groundhogs and stuff like that and foxes and coyotes but I love using this for for small games such as squirrels. It's a very very accurate gun. You point it uh, where you want to point it and it will it will hit that exact same spot. So I haven't shot this gun for two seasons now. The last time I hunted was uh, two seasons ago and I'm getting ready to get out there and uh, go out this weekend. So that's the reason for this video. Is well, we're gonna make sure that this is still shoots pretty straight and go from there. Also, got my sidearm right here, my Smith and Wesson 40 that I'm gonna be shooting, and then also we're gonna be shooting my Ruger SR22. And also the Smith & Wesson MAP-15 right here. So I'm excited. This is my first time shooting this gun. I'm very excited. It's chambered in a 223 or 556. Five, but uh, first off, let's get started with the Savage. All right, let's arrange it real quick. So to the target from right here, we're at 40 yards right here. Let's go a little bit farther just to see how far it is to the backstop. It is uh, 53 yards, 50 to 53 yards to the backdrop, to the backstop. So since I'm gonna bring my table or or chairs and everything, I'm just gonna use my traction board kind of as a as a whatever you want to call it, and go from there just to help me stabilize. Uh, as always, make sure you have your safety glasses and your air muffs. To start it off, we're just gonna freehand shoot and go from there. All right, let's go check it real quick. Oh yeah, look at all those bullseyes. Nice. Three, four, five, six shots right there. It's all the money. So I'm done. I'm done with that. And now I'm just gonna play around with my handgun. This is my Smith & Wesson MP40. I originally got this because Milwaukee Police Department was using these uh, same handguns. They switched from the Glock into the Smith & Wesson 
and uh, one of my goals was uh, to get into uh, Milwaukee Police Department but unfortunately they had a high and freeze at the time so and it was uh, for three or four years or something like that and I just decided to, uh, to take a different route and here I am uh, doing something totally different from uh, what I went to school for which is the criminal justice law enforcement so but this is the MP40 40 caliber it's a very accurate the handgun very nice smooth I like to practice this one as this is the one I I carry with me most of the time. SR-22 Let's get the AR out and uh, let's uh, let's go do some shooting with the AR. All right, guys. Hopefully, you guys like this episode. Just out here, just getting my squirrel gun all set in for the opener, for small game opener. And then I just decided to shoot my other guns and uh, just get some uh, skirmishes in or some practice in, just so I could keep up my my level of uh, skills. I mean, I'm a, I'm a, I'm only a beginner. I'm not no I'm not no experience, no military background or anything. But but it's still good to just uh, get out here and practice handling your your guns that we saw. When you really need it, you know how to use it. That's the most important part is uh, being able to use uh, the tools that you have when you need it. So, because if you don't practice and when you need it, you're gonna be lost. You're not gonna know what to do, how to react and everything. And it's very important, especially in today's world where everything is, is, is pretty much going downhill and everything. That's what it seems like anyways. But it's, but it's just fun being out here. And especially right now, I'm out here by myself in this wide open public area. And there's uh, no one here and I can actually do do some shooting that I kind of want to do and not have to worry about any others that may, may get in the way. So anyways, like, share, comment, subscribe. And as always, follow your dreams, follow your passions, make it happen, guys. We'll see you on the next video.